This big argument now this morning about actually legalising cannabis. Yesterday we talked yeah. about the former mm. leader of the Tory party, William Hague, saying let's decriminalise mm. cannabis completely. Uh, there is a big argument over whether medical uh, marijuana, medical mm. cannabis should be legal. Sajid Javed has been quite uh, progressive on this, he has. actually, uh, Kevin. It may be... You know, people are saying behind the scenes, as a sort of, you know, in the jostling of her position, he, this might, there might be a sort of subtext to what he's doing here. There is the Home Secretary, clearly got his eye on the top job, Theresa May's wobbly. It's, qu it's quite interesting in general how uh, the, the running in the government, all the initiatives seem to be coming from the uh, ministers rather than Theresa May herself. Uh, the Environment Secretary, Michael Gove, a lot of the green stuff now. You see, the, the NHS money was actually negotiated by Jeremy Hunt. Uh, forget the Brexit dividend, which doesn't exist, but he was negotiating the extra money. And, of course, Javid is pushing it on, on cannabis oil. Cannabis was downgraded from a Class B to a Class C drug in the Labour era, but then it was reclassified back mm. to B, which determines the penalty. In, in America, it does feel it's changing. In America, eight states, I think, have now yep. legalised marijuana, yep. and 27 or eight sta further states, maybe probably including those, have uh, legalised it for medical use. So America, which is quite puritanical, mm. actually, yeah. about this kind of thing, they've taken the view, Andrew, that, yeah, as a male, obviously very strong, don't go soft on cannabis, they've taken a the view that going hard on cannabis, which led to massive incarceration mm. in America, has been a self-defeating act for society there, and that actually regulating it, making it safe, and for governments to profit from the sales of this in a legalised way mm. is better for society. Yeah, uh, and the Mail today is quite interesting in its leading article has argued in favour of uh, medical cannabis. There are huge issues with cannabis uh, causing psychotic illnesses for addicts. But can we honestly mental... say, yeah, there, can... there, there, as far as I'm aware, there are no recorded instances of anybody overdosing on cannabis, That's right? not the only risk. No, no, I'm not illness. saying it is. I'm just saying... Mental illness is a huge right. factor. Right, I get that, but mental illness is also papers. obviously a side effect of heavy drinking, yeah. of heavy smoking yeah. and everything yeah. else, right? Smoking and... Uh, cigarettes yeah. and alcohol are both legal in this country. Mm. And so the argument I think Americans came to was, well, if you're going to legalise alcohol and tobacco, is it actually right that you say that cannabis is worse for a human being, an adult human being? And they came to the conclusion it probably isn't in well, most states. He, Simon Stevens is the head of the NHS. He's seen lots of statistics, mm. lots of evidence, and he says let's not get carried away here because it is a huge problem with mental illness, particularly with young people, and that's a big problem. But it's... And uh, you've got to be honest about it too. The police are not actually massively enforcing arrests right. and convictions for cannabis. They're turning a blind eye to it anyway. But mm. do we need all the upheaval to look, change the law? Look, it is whether you deal with it as a health issue right. or a yeah. criminal issue. <clears throat> and it's failed as a criminal issue because hundreds of thousands of people use drugs. Whether you like it or not, they're using them. If you've got a law and it's not enforced, well, the law's been brought into disrepute and it says the law is wrong there. Legalise most of these drugs, regulate them, collect the tax and put the money into a health drive. So you don't say go and smoke in ca cannabis. That's not what it's about. It's how you tackle it. And I don't know why we give thousands of people every year criminal records for using drugs. Mm. Then they struggle to get jobs and so on. There it's is just, a distinction, crazy. though, isn't there, that the male is uh, obviously making, which is that um, nobody can understand how Billy Caldwell's mother could no. be criminalised no. for just trying to do something Absolutely which right. clearly helps Are we all child? agreed, yeah. then, that on the, on the medical use of cannabis, purely for medical yeah. reasons, like this boy, yeah. Billy Caldwell, that that should be Well, legalized. we use other drugs, obviously, yeah, for exactly. medical yeah. uses, but you know, harder but, drugs for medical use. But there's no political uh, uh, will behind legalising cannabis. The only party that was in favour of it at the last election was the Liberal Democrats. Where did they get? There's no mm -hmm. uh, conviction on the part of the Labour Party or the Conservatives. I think it's a, we're a long way off from that. I think a lot of Labour MPs, some Tory MPs, as well as Liberal Democrat MPs and SMP MPs would, would, would vote, it. It would vote to, uh, mm. to treat it as a, as a non-criminal okay. uh, offence. There's Let about 30,000 people use it uh, illegally every year for medicinal purposes. Right. 